What's going on, Patreon God Pit supporters? Um, I'm here to give you guys an exclusive video of how you can play arcade games on your actual smartphone. Um, now, this process is only for Android phone users and not for Apple phone users. So, um, if I can, I'm gonna try and do a separate. Uh, well, I don't have an Apple phone, but um. I could direct you to a link to where they have um, tutorial videos on how to um, be able to play video games on your Apple phones or tablets or whatever. But um, this video is strictly for Android and we're going to just get right into it. So what you're going to do first is go to your web browser. Let me delete some of the stuff. I forgot to delete my history. So you're going to type in, you're going to go to Google, and you're going to type in, actually you don't even have to do that to be honest, um, that process is later, sorry about that, what you, first thing you're going to do is go to your Google Play Store, and you're going to look up Name for Droid, so here it is, Name for Droid, so you're gonna click download. So it's already downloaded, it's saying open. So once that finished download, you don't go into it right away. Um, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go to your downloads portion. Hold on. Make sure, oh, yeah, you're gonna go into um, your internal storage on your phone. But that's where more likely it's going to be um, downloaded. And you're going to look for name for Droid. Now you see you got all these different files and folders in here. Now what you're going to do, just in case if they don't have it, you're going to create a ROMs folder. This is the folder where you're going to be putting all your games, your ROMs in. So just to let you know, you know. When you download a game, it's going to be in your downloads folder. But what you're going to do is switch it into your ROMs folder, like so. So if you don't, if the ROMs folder doesn't exist in the in the folder or in the directory, just create it. Just create folder and rename it ROMs, and then y'all set with that to us. So now what you're ready to do is. Now we can go online. We go to the web browser to look for the games. All right. You go to Google. Type in main ROMs or main ROMs download, whatever you want to do. And you have all these different websites. So the, the main one that I go to, if it still exists, uh, it should be, okay, Roms for Main. This is where you want to go because this is where most of the Roms that you do download are strictly for um, the software for your phone. And they all work too. So once you download them, you just put them in your Roms folder and they'd be ready to go. So, just take time for this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. You have Alien vs. Predator. What have you, what have you. So, you know what we're gonna do? You're gonna click on it. Click on Ninja Turtles. on download game and once it finished download you're going to exit out of your browser you're going to click on your my files or file manager you're going to go and download so the ROM will be in this folder and what you're going to do is go up to the top right and 
what you want to clip on it. You want to clip on the side first, and then it's gonna. Then you want to click the top right corner, and it's gonna say move file. And you're gonna move it, and you want to click on main four droid ROMs, and then move, and then you should be all set. So you exit out. Now we're ready to go into the actual software. So you look for your main droid, click on it, and I have a list of all the games that you download. So, but before we can play it, you gotta set up your controls. So what you're gonna do is hold down start and coin. Well, actually before that, we don't do options because you want to set up your controls. So this is very important. So you go to settings, you're gonna go to input, you're gonna go to touch controller, external controllers in case if you're using a controller attached to your phone, touch light gun, you could change that option for like the shooter games and stuff like that. All right. But most of the stuff you don't even need to touch. You just need to touch touch controller. Go to mode. And this is where it's real important. If you're playing fighting games like X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, you're going to want to keep it on digital stick. Because that's going to give you the best movement for the fighting games. Now, if you're playing games, platformers or beat em up games like... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, X-Men Arcade Game, or Robocop, which is a platformer, you want to click on Digital D-Pad. So it's going to be like the um, console version of your touchscreen control pad. Alright, so once you've done did that, you want to cancel, exit out. Uh, I'm going to back out of this because uh, my back... My back arrow on my phone doesn't work, so I gotta close the window out completely. So I gotta re enter into main droid and then I'm gonna look for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Alright. Uh, here it is. Oh, that's Turtles in Time. Okay. First one was right next to it. So you're going to um, enter into it. Alright, so usually you're, you're going to see a different screen. It's going to give you like a warning option. You're just going to um, move your um, control joystick direct um, directional button left and right. Then you're going to do left and right again. And it's going to bring you to this screen. Now since you're here, before you want to play the game, you're going to want to set up the controls first. So you hold down coin and start. It's gonna bring you to this list. So you're gonna scroll down, go to input game, and then basically you're gonna change your um, how you are gonna map your controller. So joy one coin, you can use this coin uh, for the buttons. Player one buttons one and two. You press B or C to enter into that, and you press the whatever button that you want to use to um, play your game as. So you can do it for C. Now if you want to erase it, you're going to click B again, press exit, so you'll say none. So that means you can remap it to whatever control you want or in case you mess up and press the wrong button. So once you're set with that, you just go back to return prior menu, return game, and you're good to go. And like I said, for the most part, most of the ROMs will work. So you really don't have to worry about it, especially on that website. So um, this pretty much um, concludes the video of how to run arcade games on your, on your smartphone. Hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to um, drop something in the Patreon to, you know, to support. Stay tuned for more content on my channel, on my page, I should say, and enjoy playing your games. Later.